Today, let's do a rosacea skin catcher. If you've got redness, sensitivity, rosacea, anything like that, I really think that this year there's been some brilliant new launches that are perfect for us. So I'm gonna go through those in a bit of detail. In this video, I'm gonna show you an SPF that I genuinely think you can use to touch up over your makeup and it won't disrupt it. A moisturizer that I think is one of the best things I've ever used for my rosacea. And then in general, just go through some things from the high street that I think you'll really like. Before I do any of that, I just wanted to have a chat with you at the top of the video. Um, especially in the last few months, I've heard from a lot of people that say to me, what can I use? My skin is so sore that even water is sore. Um, everything reacts, everything irritates me. If this is you, the first thing I would say to you is it's really important to have a one-on-one -on -one with a medical professional. Um, the thing with rosacea, it's chronic, so yes, it's something that you're always going to have, but I promise you there is so much that you can do to reduce your symptoms and get your skin feeling really comfortable. And I say that I'm really, really lucky in my job. I get to speak to consultant dermatologists all the time. I'm saying this as someone that is checking with experts day after day. They are all completely reassuring that there is loads you can do to minimise the symptoms. It's just a case of first having that one on one, um, trying to figure out exactly what is going on with you and finding the exact right steps to get that correct for you. Um, so by all means, take all of these things as a bit of inspiration maybe a bit of companionship but ultimately if you first of all go to a medical professional get that one-on-one -on -one, from there the rest is going to be so much easier to manage um that can come in the form of booking an appointment with your gp or a pharmacist um i recently did a project with boots all about all of the in-store services that they offer and there are so many like you can go to the local pharmacist at your local boots and discuss your skin with them for example um, but then as well, there are also online services like Skin and Me or Clearer, where you kind of send them photos of your skin, explain your symptoms, things like that. And they will assess what you've told them and make a custom skincare formula and post it to you that suits what you're trying to target and helps you to ease your symptoms. So there are so many different ways you can speak to an expert and just make sure that you're targeting everything in a way that is best suited to you. Now, all of that said, let me show you the things I'm enjoying. So just to give you an idea, I've got type one and type two rosacea. Um, I'm quite stressed at the moment with things going on in my life. So I'm in a very normal skincare routine, but my skin isn't always playing ball. That's to be expected, as you know, if you have rosacea. Um, I'm on a prescription azelaic acid that I got from the Boots Online Doctor. And and then I'm using a selection of things you're going to see here in my everyday routine. I don't have like a regimented, I use this, this and this every day. Part of my job is that I try lots of different things, but they tend to be in the same family. So for example, I tend to use every day cleanser, moisturiser, SPF, hyaluronic acid. Um, I use my prescription azelaic acid. Then sometimes, depending on how my skin is, I might be slotting in a little vitamin C there for brightness. Um, but ultimately, I keep the steps as minimal as possible. And then let's say, for example, if I'm using a really hydrating SPF, I won't bother moisturising as well as that. So I try and use as little steps as I can. Now, the first place I'm going to start is the Dermalogica Stabilising Repair Cream. I just shared some videos about this last night, so I won't go into this in loads of detail because I'll let you go back and find those. But basically, Dermalogica have created this cream specifically with sensitive skin in mind. I've been using it for just over three weeks now, twice a day. And what this is designed to do is really reduce the things like redness, itching, irritation that can come with sensitivity. Um, I've really enjoyed working on them with this. Just to be clear, this was part of a partnership with them. And a few things I'm going to show you today have been part of partnerships but it's kind of six of one, half a dozen of the other, because if I've agreed to a partnership with someone, I'll have used the product for a long while and then, you know, liked it enough to share it. So then, of course, it makes sense that they've become part of my routine. Um, but basically, something I thought was really different about this and why I was really happy to share it is even though, as we would want and hope for a sensitive skin, it's packed with ceramides in the formula, 
This also encourages your skin to produce more of its own ceramides. That's part of the patent in this. Um, so it's a really lovely buttery cream. If you're particularly dry, I think you'll really like this because it is very rich and very densely hydrating. Um, but a really, really lovely one that I thoroughly recommend. Now, speaking of very hydrating things, I started using this summer the P20 Sensitive Face. Um, years ago, we always used to go on a like dance song, like for an arts trip to Italy with my school, a dance song trip. I mean, gosh, you can tell I haven't done a video in a while, can't you? Anyway, we always used to go on this performing arts trip and I am like as white as my t-shirt. So I would take P20 for the body because it's a once a day formula and I used to think, brilliant, I'll just do that once and forget all about it. And I used to really like it. So earlier this year, they bought out a face version specifically for sensitive skin. I have to say it's been fantastic. Um, I wore this, for example, to Glastonbury, which was like, I've never been to Glastonbury before and it was so hot that your face was actually wet with sweat. Like I can't explain how hot it was um, and I didn't burn at all. Now, something I would really, really emphasise, P20 is designed to be a once a day sun care um, step. However, you have to use your common sense with that. If I'm out in the absolute sweltering heat of Glastonbury like I was, I'm not just going to trust that it's going to last if I'm sweating profusely or if you were going in the pool, for example, or somehow you got caught in the rain. Any of these things, like, yes, it's designed to do that, but I'd rather not tempt fate. So I either topped up with this in terms of like neck and things like that if I needed to. But this... SPF spray is one of the best things I've ever used that I will always, always get now. This is what I was mainly topping up with. Um, it's the Ultraviolet SPF 50 Preen Screen. It's a completely clear liquid that you can go over your face with um, and it will not disrupt your makeup. Now, I know this is really pedantic, but hear me out. It's this kind of pump. And I find when it's the ones you know like that will just give you one spray and there's no more than that when it's those kind of unstoppable ones if you're out in a windy field half your spf has gone out of the way i felt like i had so much more control with that um i used it on my face body everything it gives you like a bit of a, a dewiness definitely so you might want to powder over it but honestly, those two, no matter how hot it was, I was absolutely delighted with and really, really enjoyed using them. Um, this spray I took, I went on a trip um, in April and I tagged on some, I went on a work trip and tagged on some personal days. So I'd gone to New York to see the cosmetics team. Then I went to LA because I had a gap in between. I'd already planned uh, maybe like a year before to go to Vegas with my friends. So like it was so strange how this complete coincidence happened. I digress. This has been to New Jersey, New York, LA, Las Vegas desert, Glastonbury, the hottest place I've ever been to in my life. And it lasted all of those things. Speaking of SPF, what I actually took for like all over body while I was away. I just bought this to try it. It was the Garnier Ombre Solaire uh, SPF 50 water resistant. Really loved this. I used it all over my body. Um, I'll be honest with you, you know what it's like when you're on holiday. Can you be bothered doing loads of individual steps? No. So sometimes I would just use that on my face as well. Um, it was fine on my face, but I found that if I didn't let it dry for long enough, it did make my foundation peel a little bit. So what I'm getting at is, by all means, you could use that all over and on your face, but give it a minute before you do your makeup. Uh, but really did enjoy using that one as well. Now then, I have used, I think, two of these. It's either two or three. I can't fully remember. The Vichy Mineral 89 Moisture Boosting Cream. This is one of the best products I've ever tried for rosacea and I'm going to recommend this to anyone that wants like 
so often people will say to me, what should I use? I've just found out I've got rosacea, where do I begin? And it's such a difficult question and I don't like to answer it if I'm really honest with you because what I think is great, someone else won't like. And ultimately, I think the rules are, if you can find a lovely gentle cream cleanser, a lovely gentle moisturiser in a texture that you like, you know, you might like a rich cream, you might like a lightweight gel. There's so many different options because let's say you might like the lightweight gel if you've got oily skin and redness, you might like the rich cream if you've got dry skin and redness. So who am I to tell you that there's like one cleanser, moisturiser and, you know, SPF that you're going to get on with? That's why it's so difficult to kind of say. And that's another reason why I always encourage you to have one to one advice so that you can find things that are perfect for you. Anyway, all of that said, this is something that I would recommend for all skin types. It's a super gentle moisturiser. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. My mum is using it. She said it's the nicest thing I've ever given her for her skin. Um, my friend Emma, this was the only moisturiser we took to Glastonbury. And I remember the first night she was like, what is that? Because I was in charge of bringing the skincare. Um, and Emma again has access to whatever she wants of mine and she absolutely loved it. Um, it's a simple moisturiser, sits well under your makeup. I think why I like this is that it's lightweight and rich at the same time, if this makes sense. Um, if you've seen or tried before, the Vichy Mineral 89 Serum Eye Serum Masks, I've mentioned them many a time on here. Um, they are absolutely brilliant. Their whole ethos is, I mean, they're French founded and all of the formulas are made with as little ingredients as possible. So if you're prone to irritation or you find that things tend to flare your skin, I feel like this is a very safe option for you because it's not likely to do that. I'd really, really recommend that as a great starting moisturiser if you're dealing with sensitivity. Now there's another launch that I think is one of the best launches, again, that I have used full stop. And I was so excited when I heard about this. It's the La Roche-Posay Psychoplast B5 Serum. I've completely finished this now. Do you know the Psychoplast Balm? Just in case you don't already, uh, La Roche-Posay is one of my favourite skincare brands. I absolutely love them. I find that as a brand in general, if you're looking for things to do with rosacea, you can go here and you can find your full routine there easily. Um, the Psychoplast is a really thick moisturiser, really, really densely hydrating. It's designed to really kind of... Um, I don't want to use the word heal. It, it's designed to really repair the skin. That's the word I'm looking for in all sorts of eventualities, whether it's irritation, minor sunburn. Um, it's a very, very good like comforter and repair solution. There's me wanting to use the word again. But basically, psycho, uh, psychoplast, I'm just calling it psychopair because I've got psychopair to show you here as well. But anyway... Psychoplast is this really rich cream that you have to melt right down and then turn it into more of an ointment and then use it. This is a ready-made serum. It is the most comfortable, instantly hydrating, instantly soothing. It's like a really rich moisturiser in a serum that you don't have to mess about with. It's honestly one of the best things I have ever, ever used. However, I went through it in five minutes. So I would say like, you're gonna love it, but the bottle will be gone. And I'll be honest with you, um, my friend that I always go to Paris with for our birthdays, we both live La Roche-Posay and we always stock up whenever we go there. This came out since the last time we've been. But anyway, he bought this when I told him what it was because he would usually be getting like the psychoplast say. And he said to me the other day, like, I got it five minutes ago and the bottle's empty. That's the only thing I would say. Um, but that is because it's so nice. You want to use loads of it. I'm sure I'm probably using too much. But genuinely, one of the loveliest things you'll ever use, but proceed with caution. It will be gone before you've even, like, got your teeth into it. Um, speaking of La Roche-Posay, one of my absolute favourites of theirs is the Anthelios SPF. 
and I've been trying the oil control fluid, uh, which is lovely. It's the exact same as everything else in the Anthelios family, except the finish is a, a bit more of, um, it's kind of like an eggshell finish. You know how some SPFs are a bit richer? It does dry to more of a matte finish. Um, I really like this. I'd really recommend it. But because I'm dry, I think the next time I'd probably just go back to the original Anthelios. Uh, but by all means, you're going to love that if you're oily skinned. And I don't feel like um, me being dry means I'm not going to get the use out of it because I absolutely will. Now, I'm on my second cream cleanser from Caroline Hiron's brand Skin Rocks. Um, this is a really lovely cream cleanser. I always love using a cream because it's so gentle if you've got redness or irritation. But what I like about this is that it's slightly more slippy than a cream. Um, sometimes creams are that bit slower to remove your makeup because they're so gentle. But this almost feels like it's got a tiny hint of the richness of a balm, um, but in that cream formula. So I really like this. Um, something I would point out what Caroline has done with the Skin Rocks collection is the likes of this or the moisturizer, for example, you can get them in fragranced or fragrance free. Now, I'm really lucky to get to try things uh, that are sent ahead of launch so that I can, you know, feature them and whatnot. And so they kindly sent me this, but it was the fragranced version. I haven't seen any irritation with this whatsoever. Um, I am personally quite a cheerleader for. Like as a general rule, it's great to avoid fragrance if you've got rosacea, but it's not the be all and end all. And I really like to emphasize that because sometimes, I think in particular with high street beauty, the fact that there is a little bit of fragrance in something could potentially put you off. But I feel like it doesn't have to be the way. It's not always the case that every fragrance is gonna disrupt rosacea. I mean, in my case, I can only speak from my own experience, that has actually been a really comfortable cleanser that I haven't experienced any irritation from. Um, and another example I have of this actually that I was going to show you is the Aven Hyaluron Active B3 Cell Renewal Cream. Again, lovely rich moisturiser. Um, Aven is kind of similar to La Roche-Posay in that you can't really go far wrong if you're looking for a redness sensitivity routine from either of those brands. That's fragranced. I'm seeing no problems with it at all. Now, none of the next things are new, but just while I'm sharing what I've been using or things that I really like, I thought I'd mention them to you. Uh, the L'Oreal Revitalift Hyaluronic Serum for Eyes. What I've been trying to do recently is generally look at the high street at things that I think you'd really like. And uh, that's a lovely one. I do find that I get quite dry around there. And so whether it's night time or I don't tend to use things like this under my makeup, if I'm honest, I'd go more for my eye cream, um, but night time when I'm adding in a few little extra steps, if I'm feeling a bit parched or if it's one of those nights where like you've done your tan, you've shaved your legs, you're taking a bit more time, really lovely. Um, the Garnier Hyaluronic Aloe Serum, uh, a lovely hyaluronic acid serum that again is not going to break the bank. Um, the fact that you've got the aloe in this as well makes it particularly comfortable and soothing for a rosacea skin. Again, this is another brand that I worked with on this serum. Um, but like I mentioned earlier, if I've given something a long enough road test to want to work with them on it, then of course it's remained in the routine as part of the everyday. Uh, speaking of Garnier, Really good one for you, uh, the micellar water. If you like to get the bulk of your makeup off before you cleanse, this can be really lovely as a first cleansing step. Now, any dermatologist that I speak to always tends to advise a cream cleanser. Um, however, like I do that for the most part, I honestly do. I love cream cleansers. Uh, my favourite would probably be the Tellarian Derma Cleanse. Again, if you're looking for a great starter cleanser, would recommend that one. However, 
sometimes you just want to get your makeup off as quickly as possible we all do so uh, there are certain balms that i will go to just because who wants to stand there all night gently massaging their skin if it's that night that you just want to get in get your makeup off and go to bed um the elemis naked collagen cleansing balm the elemis cleansing balm is one of those products that i think so many people absolutely love just in case you haven't tried this naked is a fragrance free version so after my whole spiel about fragrance genuinely if that is something that's important to you um they have the fragrance free and again even though i've just done that whole spiel when i have all of the different options fragranced or not or whatever i do always get the naked version of this one because uh, i just really like it gets your makeup off very very quickly and another one that i always have in my overnight bag i think i've got through about three of these now is sally hughes's butter clean um again gorgeous brand available readily on the high street i think sally herself would be the first to say that like if you're dealing with redness or sensitivity it might not be the first thing that comes to mind for her to recommend for you however at the end of the day i can categorically tell you i've used this a million times it gets everything off so quickly I think as well there's something to be said for when your skin is very red having a balm that gets everything off quickly that you're not rubbing it for loads of time um so that is one that i really love and again that has a nice aroma to it so if you are someone that likes those fragrances and things i think you'll really enjoy this now a couple of old-fashioned empties while i'm here uh the murad hydrodynamic ultimate moisturizer I've got to the very bottom of that. I was keeping empties for you for ages and then I'm not going to lie, it's been that long since I've had them. They were stressing me out in my room so I got rid of them but that was a lovely, um, again, kind of fit the rosacea bill. Creamy moisturiser, very comforting. I used to use that a lot straight after the shower and it would just feel like, oh, okay, like my skin isn't as tight anymore. Um, I'm actually scraping the dregs of my uh, eight hour cream lip treatment. I've gone through loads of lip balms over the last few months actually, because to be honest with you, I haven't been wearing loads of makeup. Um, I'm gonna do like a big body video because I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup. I've had a lot going on at home, so I've not been in my usual routine, but I have whatever has been going on still been like tanning washing my hair getting a nice shower gel in the shower uh, i've really been in my like bathroom era so we'll go through that another one that i have used several of and i kept the empty of to remind myself this event tolerance control soothing skin recovery cream laura capon i feel like i am actually borderline stalking laura find a way to weave her into every video Laura um, told me about this ages ago. It's essentially a really simple everyday moisturiser, great for barrier repair. She has dry skin, so we tend to like quite similar things. I've used quite a few of these since. A very simple everyday, great choice. Um, and then I know this is meant to be about skincare, but what I will say is I have had a lot going on in my life over the last few months. And when you are stressed, your skin isn't good. And mine has been like just not great no matter what I've done to it. And so on the days when I've just needed something, um, on a day that I'm not like wearing any makeup and don't want to look like any, Psychopair drops are brilliant. Um, I've shown you these before and you may well have seen the part of Psychopair, but basically this is a green correcting uh, tint that you can use on redness. And I really emphasize a green tint to use on redness because this isn't suitable for everybody. If you're not specifically covering redness, this is gonna look out of place on your skin. But for those of us that are, it's a really subtle, um, simple skincare treat with colour correcting properties that will just take the edge off any redness. That is the tiniest bit, but I just want to show you the consistency is just kind of like a fresh skin. Um, you know how much I love the It Cosmetic CC Cream, my absolute ride or die favourite. This is a full coverage foundation, serum, primer, moisturiser, concealer, SPF, everything all in one. I've never loved it more than the last few months and I've worked with It Cosmetics now since 2018. Um, 
it is really something to know that however you wake up that day, you can have flawless makeup and you can have flawless skin and you just have this thing in your makeup bag that will take it all away. And if I ever didn't make it clear enough how much I love this before, it's just unlocked a whole new level of love. I think it's really different when you feel tired in yourself. Um, I, I think like if a scientist said to me, your skin is not any more puffy or red or the bags under your eyes aren't any different or anything like that. They could prove that to me on a sheet of paper, but I have felt haggard for the last few months and that's not a nice feeling. And when you feel like that, nothing that you put on feels right. And honestly, that CC cream for the last few months has been this thing I can put on and just feel like myself, look in the mirror and not see a tired person. Um, it, it's just been really, really lovely. And you, I think you don't expect that from something that you use every day anyway, but it has been something that's made me feel great in myself at a time when I'm not feeling great in myself. So um, new level of appreciation unlocked for sure. But I think, dare I say, that is the end of our, I've gone through everything with you. Um, if there's anything you want to know a little bit more about, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Please feel free to ask any questions as well. I'll be really honest with you because I have a lot of care responsibilities outside of my everyday work and like Instagram is a lovely, lovely hobby that I really enjoy. But 99 times out of 100, it is a hobby. It's not kind of part of work. So I'm just having to prioritise my time with everything I've got going on. Um, I might not be able to come back to you right away, but I will come back to you for sure. I really love having a big chat with you um, and just hearing what you're enjoying, what you want to know more about. I can keep all of that feedback in mind for future videos. Um, but anyway, take care. If you are struggling with your skin in any way, please speak to someone because there's so much that can be done to make you feel better. I know myself, it's not nice when you don't feel nice. Um, but just know that there is a solution there. There'll be something around the corner that will make you feel great again. And um, I look forward to chatting to you soon. But take care and have a lovely weekend.